Hey guys, VBG here, and this is Dwarfs. So I've actually already played the tutorial and a couple arcade rounds, just to see what it would be like. And, um, yes, yeah, so we're just going to go on normal 30 minutes. And I will explain what the, how this game works and whatnot. So you have these dwarfs. These are the digger dwarfs, the one with the green circle around them. And they'll just dig around looking for caves and ore and all that. So, um... Now, caves, what they can have in them is, uh, the good, the good thing you can find in a cave is treasure. Now, they could also be empty. And then the bad things that you can find in caves are water, lava, um, well, you've got water, lava, minions, which are like goblins and stuff. You can find spiders and shamans. Shamans can, uh, they're like a boss and they can summon monsters. So the, now these that's where these guys come in. These are warrior dwarfs and they are well they'll pretty much kill what you tell them to kill. So uh, that's pretty much how that works. I'm gonna train a couple more warrior dwarfs there. Now you also notice that well first I'm gonna show you guys this. I can direct the dwarfs for five um, five per block so I can direct them where to go. So I'm just going to check out this cave here and it had nothing in it. Go direct this guy over here and see what he can find in that cave and nothing in it. Okay, so now where was I? Um <laughs> I'm just trying to think of where I was or like what I was about to say next. Huh, I can't remember. Alright, whatever. I'll uh, remember it at some point, and I'll tell you guys when I remember. Alright, so, gonna have that guy up there, and... Oh, see, treasure cave, right there. And this is my gold up at the top middle of the uh, top center of the screen, and the game length remaining is at the top right. There's a lot of caves near my uh, main place. Oh, right, I remember what I was gonna say. I, I think I was gonna say this, but this is the town hall here, and there's a water cave. So for a water cave, pretty much what I do is I block that off with a block, and then I will throw some dynamite right there, and I will have a sacrificial lamb come blow it up. And then pretty much what I do is you turn the dirt around the water into rock which cannot be mined through and essentially what you're doing is boom so now there's a hole there and there will be stone all around it which cannot be mined through which essentially makes this water safe which means that nobody can no dwarf can accidentally run into it and cause the entire cave system to flood so what we want to do is we want to make that safe as soon as possible because of how close it is, how close its proximity is to the base, well, to the town hall. I, I, I like to call it a base, though. Alright, so I'm going to guide this guy down there and look at that cave. And, um, yeah. Now, you can also make outposts, which can, um treasure cave that's nice outposts can train additional warrior dwarfs and there are a few features to the outposts which I'll show you guys once I build an outpost um, first I just want to make sure that this is all safe and one more and there we go and that'll all turn gray and it will be solid solidified Alright, so that is pretty much how the solidification works. This guy's about to break into this. Ooh, another treasure cave. We've been getting lucky with those. Um, Alright, so I can probably make a... Uh, I'll send this guy over here to build... Or to mine that out. And I'm going to build a an outpost. So I can build an outpost anywhere where there's a cave. So I'll build one here. And it'll take a moment to build. And once it is built... I can train dwarves here, warrior dwarves. Now what I can do here is for 15 gold per warrior per second I can train them which will slowly level them up so they'll be higher level and they'll hit harder and whatnot. Now um, actually I think that's what I was gonna mention earlier that I forgot what I was gonna mention. Um, 
so the digger dwarfs as they level they mine and they level up as they mine this guy over here just leveled up and the higher their level I'm fairly sure it's the faster they can mine now these guys the warriors the more that they kill things the higher their level and the better they get at killing things like the stronger and more defensive they become so I can do this and flick that on and since I have four of them for 60 gold per second I can train them now now here comes another feature that I'm going to show you I can fire all of these dwarfs over here just like that and now they will come, come over here and kill these minions except for those guys that just kind of roamed off but um, yeah they should be safe anyways um, now I can call them all back they're still being trained as they're out there which is kinda odd at least I think that's what's happening anyway so these guys are all level if I scroll out this far I can see all their levels so they're all getting fairly leveled up um, now another thing about this game is you really have to watch where all your dwarfs are going just because one could all of a sudden mine into lava or water or anything really and they would be completely toast. So I'm going to see if I can fire these guys up here into this cave, and indeed I can, and they will uh, deal with these minions. I don't have enough to uh, block those off. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call these guys in. Turn that off call these guys in and they will run back to the base it's weird though they didn't actually uh, stop to kill the oh yes they did okay and yeah the uh, minions are all dead now anyways um, so yeah that's how that works get this guy to uh, go around there and see what's in that cave and I think I'll get this guy to go over here and see what's in that cave Alright, so I'm just going to look for any spots where there's ore that I could get. Actually, I'll get this guy to look at that cave. See, there's a treasure cave. Caves are usually worth exploring. Um, sometimes it can be deadly, though, to your town hall to explore them, which can be a bit of a pain, but uh, 1,000 squares. Alright, let's see what this guy uh, uncovers. Nothing. Okay, so we could build another outpost now, and I think I'll build it up here. Yeah, I'm going to build it right up here. I think also warrior dwarfs can detonate the dynamite. I was just mentioning that because I thought there might be water or lava in this cave here. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to train four of those and get them training. Sorry if I sound a little bit uh, weird in this video at all. I shouldn't, but uh, it's if I do sound a little bit weird at all, it's because uh, I've got a uh, I've got a stuffy nose today. I don't know why it took me so long to say that, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, oh wow, these guys are all already level threes. That's nice. I'm going to uh, send this guy over here. Hopefully 85 gold is worth what he gets from that. What's this little thing down here? S. Oh, temporarily speeds up the action. Huh. Water cave. So now I'll just turn off training here so that I can block that off. And now I'm going to need to block this all off. Throw a piece of dynamite there for whenever I get to getting a uh, dwarf over there. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy run over there and see if he can see what's in that cave. Yeah, 
Alright, so... Can't scroll it any farther than that. <sighs> okay. See what's in this cave here. Right now I'm just concerned really with seeing what is in these caves. Until one of my dwarfs gets like out further and closer to some uh, gold, I won't really be too concerned with much else. Ooh, treasure cave. Once he has that, I'll send him over to that cave and he can get whatsoever, whatever is in that cave plus the ore. And I'm just going to block off this... Another treasure cave, that's nice. Block off this... Uh, and... Not solidified yet, it still needs a dwarf sacrificial lamb to... Uh, I usually like to use level 1s for that. If I have to use this level 3, I might... Yeah, I'm just going to send him straight up there to that, and, well, once I have enough money to send him straight up there to that, I'm going to send this guy, once he gets closer, I'm going to send him up to, alright, yeah, I'm going to send this guy up to that cave and see what he can find, send this guy down to that cave, see what he can find. Lava. Lava is bad. Lava is very bad. Alright, I need a dwarf over here. Now. Better hurry up, because if he doesn't, then uh, that lava is just going to spread. Oh, come on. Faster, faster. Okay. The lava is semi-safe. It's surrounded by mining dwarfs, though, so... Might not be too safe. Alright, so... Oh yes, this water is solidified now. Alright. Did no dwarf seriously mine that? Alright, I'm going to get somebody to go mine that. And this lava. Lava is probably one of the most dangerous things because it can actually go through the walls so I'm going to need to solidify that. And hopefully that can be done soon. Actually, I'm going to try out this feature down here, time warp. Forces time to... oh wait, no, that's to a halt. Or this one here, speed up. Temporarily speeds up the action current. Speed multiplier is five times. This differs depending on difficulty. Eh, stay away from that lava. I'm going to try that out. Okay, so... Is it working? I hit the right key. Oh, you have to hold it. I get you. Oh, wow. That's nice. You can just let everything speed along. You get away from there. Alright, so I'm going to need to shoot these guys here. Let them deal with that. Hopefully soon I can... Uh, block off the rest of this lava. Ooh, my dwarfs are uh, taking a beating. Uh, shaman no more. That's nice. Okay, solidified. We're good. Alright, I lost one of my warrior dwarfs in that. Call these guys back and pull out another one. Alright, well, maybe we can uh, soon get another outpost going. It'll cost 1,000. Send this guy over there. And I'm going to hold down that to speed up time. Huh, I didn't actually know about the speed up time feature until just now. Get him to go mine that. 
Alright, gonna send him over to that cave and see what he can find. Alright, speed it up a bit. Ooh, treasure. Nice. Alright, I wanna see what these caves are about. Lava. Okay, sacrificial lamb. Level 2 sacrificial lamb, not bad. Uh, shaman. Oh wait, no, some enemy minions. Okay, that's not as bad as a shaman. Ew, that's uh... Well that kinda sucks, I can't uh, reach them. Oh, but I do have 2,000 coins, so I can build a uh... That should hold them for a little while. Okay, so, now this is built up. Train them for a little bit until just before they're about to break through this wall and then I'll uh, shoot them over. We should be good. Huh, this grass is like spreading out and whatnot, it seems, as the, uh, there's little buildings on it as the uh, area gets cleared around it. That's nice. Alright, so... Uh, level 3 now. Can probably shoot them over. And... Oh yeah. They should uh, do their job fairly nicely now. Alright, I'm going to send this guy over here and then... Huh. Oh, this guy's way over here. Hopefully this won't kill him. Oh, wow. I just barely saved him. Mind you, it's not going to help much because I'm going to need to kill him to uh, prevent the lava from spreading because I have no other dwarfs around. Okay, I'm going to have to bring him around this way and throw down some... Okay, that kind of sucks that I'm going to have to kill him to block the lava off. I'm surprised that I actually managed to save him, though, like, to begin with. That was pretty cool. Okay, so that lava's pretty, uh, out of the way, so... Just going to... let's see... I want to see what this cave is here, so I'm going to send that guy over there. Ooh, treasure cave. Where was that? Uh, up here. I'm going to send this guy over to this cave. Okay, yeah, I can send him over there now, and... You notice these little things all around the place, like little items. It's interesting. Okay, I'm going to send this guy up here. Oh, three arrows. Waste of arrows. Anyways, um... Oh, wow, I have... Oh, dear. Shaman's Cave somewhere. Oh, down here. Alright, I guess that's not that bad. They should be able to, uh, just barely reach. Anyways, wow, yeah, I have 3,900, almost 4,000 gold. That's pretty, uh, awesome. See if I can get him to get behind him. If you get them behind the uh, boss, I'm pretty sure they do additional damage. Alright, call these guys back. Alright, yeah, we have enough. So, uh, yeah, we have enough. So we should probably block this off. Make it safe. Probably do the same for the other. Alright, solidified, and... Send this guy up there. Okay, so that one's solidified. We have the other one up there, and then... Wow, you're like mining around tons of gold, and you're not even mining the gold. Wow. Okay, so a held, he'll do that. And then another shaman's cave up here. Ooh. That's a difficult one. They're not anywhere near my guys. I might be able to fire these guys within range. 
Fire these guys up within range. Put a wall there. What I might actually do is send all these guys up there just like that and hopefully they'll all uh, they'll all make their way. Alright, yeah, they should uh, make their way up there. Wow, it's like a big line up here. They're all like, let me through. Alright, so now uh, let's go fix this. wonder how much the next uh... oh wow you can just hold it don't even need to uh... all right solidified i wasted so many so much gold there though by not doing it precisely by just holding down the button or what not wow that shaman is toast, no doubt. Yeah. Alright, I need to send... Whoops. I just kinda accidentally may have blown up one of my uh, warriors. <laughs> that wasn't the best thing. Alright. He's down and... I think we're gonna need another outpost somewhere. But it will cost... 1500 another shaman's cave oh wow that's really far away right so um huh I think I might be able to fire them generally within range and then I can just kind of uh, bring them around this way. They should deal with it. And send them out there. Okay, yeah, they should deal with that, and I'm gonna need more, uh, gonna need more money. All these dwarves just digging so close to gold but not actually reaching the gold. Send this guy out here, he'll go through the cave and um, yeah he'll go through the cave and get that ore. Whoa. Uh, okay. Ah, treasure cave. Oh yeah, that's a nice cave. Yeah, definitely. Um, why do I have the... I keep thinking it's W A S and D to move the view around. Ooh, achievement, Slayer of Kings. Did I lose two warrior dwarfs? Wow. That uh Yeah, that that's that kind of sucks. <laughs> no doubt. Anyways, um yeah, I'm gonna need an outpost over there. And probably one up here. I can't get another one, I don't think. It's 2200. I don't have enough. I will any, any second now, though. So, uh... Yeah. There we go. 2200. Okay, so... I suppose we'll just put one here for the time being, and put one at this one for the time being, so they have some protection from monsters and stuff that decide to attack and yeah, you know I should just send one of the dwarfs out on an expedition to go way out here and get some of that green ore because that looks like it'd be uh, very very valuable 260 <laughs> yeah, that'll take them a while to do so Okay, throw down some, uh, 
Ooh, treasure cave, that's nice. Alright, send this guy down, uh... Here. Sacrificial lamb, again. Okay, yeah, I have a lot of, uh, money, so I'm just gonna send him right... Right down here. Just all the way down here. Might be a waste, but, uh... There we go. Okay. Lava's burned through a wall. Yes, it has, indeed. And then we'll go around here, and... Should be it. And that is now... Almost. Just need one more... Alright, there. Now that's... Are you two seriously ignoring that gold? Or maybe not. He was mining this way. He might hit it himself. I'm not so sure that he will. No, he won't. Just send him that way. There we go. Alright, so how's this guy doing? I really want to see how much this stuff is. Like, how much value it has. Because that looks like it would be very valuable. I'm tempted to make him veer off and mine this stuff, but uh, I'm just going to ignore that stuff. I'm just going to go straight for the green. Anyway, so, wonder, wow, if you put the mouse at the bottom or top or whatever side of the screen and then use the arrow for the same direction, it, like, speeds it up, like, where you're going. It speeds up. Oh, right, speaking of speed up, I forgot about the speed up feature. Dwarf has released some enemy minions. Oh, no. Such a dreadful thing to happen. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'll just train these guys real quick, and then I'll, um, send them flying over to there. I'm um, just going to speed up time a little bit here. See if we can get them to level 3. Level 4 even. Okay, level 4. Alright. Fire him over there and... Alright, I need to see where this guy is. Oh, he's mining it. How much is it? Only 187. I used so much more money than that to uh, get him out there in the first place. I guess I could just keep mining it around wherever. I don't want him to run in, in, into any caves because I know that that could mean death for him, so... I'll just leave him out there to mine that stuff. Alright, call the guys back to here and then... Huh. Okay, so... Alright, there's only one guy here. Training. I wonder how high of a level they can get to. I'm just going to turn on training here at the bottom one there, and I'm just going to turn off training at this one. Then I'm going to do the time speed up. Oh wow, the grass has uh, gone pretty far now, hasn't it? Anyways, yeah, I'm just going to speed up here. See how high level they get. Achievement. Way of the pick. Nice. Alright, where's this guy? I don't want him to die on me accidentally. Ooh, treasure cave. Okay. So he's heading down. He should be safe for the time being. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Okay, so these guys are still going up. Level them right up. Level 7. Ooh, another treasure cave. Nice. <laughs> wow, I'm making money faster than uh, they can train. No, you're not going near that cave. Go mine that. Whew, that was close. That was very close. Right, I'm just going to set training on all of these. Like, I have nothing better to, to do with my money. Or my gold. Set training on everything. 
well, maybe not everything, most. I'm not, I'm not even sure if that's everything or not. But, uh, speed up time. I notice when I speed up time, the game time doesn't actually change, but I guess that's because you're playing for 30 minutes, so you're going to play for 30, play for 30 minutes. Oh, thank goodness that was a treasure cave. Oh, wow, two dwarves entered treasure caves. Is this guy really level 11 now? Oh, wow, he's red. He has, like, red, red gear on. Wow, he found a treasure cave, yet he didn't mine any of the treasure. That was, uh, wow. Haha. <laughs> I thought I seen water there for a second that was just like out in the open. Alright, what level are these guys? Level 8. I'm just curious about this dwarf down here. Alright, I'm gonna take a chance and. The heck is that? Uh, it's a creepy monster, no doubt. Uh, I can't afford that. Oh, no, of course I can't afford that. Okay, fire these guys down here. Turn off training on everything. Alright, water. Great. Uh, cover that up. Turn off training here and... Oh, we got 10 seconds left. There's a... Uh... What was that little thing down here? It's freaky. It's like a little... Oh, okay. Well, I guess I won. <laughs> I'm gonna do the uh, one thing where it'll... Uh, oh, you'll see. You'll see what I'm gonna do. Oh, 15... Oh, oh 16,000 squares discovered. Val B Gaming. Okay, saved. Alright, so look around. We're gonna go look at that thing down here. That's a skeleton? It looks like it has like a scepter or something in its hand too. That's freaky. It looks like it can't get through the wall though, or it's just not interested. Anyways. Alright, so I uh this has been dwarfs. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.